Hey guys, it's Jamie here from 3D Scan Store. So in this video, I just want to talk a little bit about the importance of using the same base mesh for all your models. Um, it allows you to do some really cool stuff, um, which I'm going to sort of talk about. Uh, mainly transferring textures really, really quickly and really easily. So you can really quickly look dev your characters. So this model has been very, very kindly provided to me by Eric Sosa, um, who does some awesome, awesome sculpts. So if you want to have a look at his art station, uh, that's him, just, Google, just search his name, Eric Sosa. Uh, he does some amazing stuff, really big in the comic book um, miniature world. So he's given me a couple of models here. Um, this guy, this cool sort of Wolverine guy. But I think for this, we're just going to look at this alien because I just think he's he's a bit less human and a bit more sort of interesting from that perspective. So the way Eric has sculpted these models um, isn't the way that we talked about in the last video where we talked about you creating a model from a, a sphere or your own topology and then wrapping a 3D scan store model on top and using the details. Eric has actually taken one of our um, 3D scan store models and pushed and pulled and sculpted the actual model itself to create this alien guy. And the advantages of that are that because these are already UV mapped um, textured models, you immediately get the texture maps and the UV maps on your sculpt so you don't have to worry too much about um, you know, texturing by hand or creating base textures or anything like that. You've already got a base texture and a, a nicely unwrapped UV, which just looks like uh, this. And obviously the um, texture maps work on this guy as well. So, I mean, Eric's done some, some sort of crazy uh, like decals on his face there. So the other cool thing, apart from transferring textures and having you know pre-existing UVs uh, that you can do with this, is because we've got you know hundreds of um, head scans on our store. Well, those are textures. Bit loads. Yeah, you can actually use any of these meshes to morph into any other mesh. So, for example, if you wanted to make this guy look a bit more human, all you would need to do is uh, store morph target and import um, like a any head which would give you the head obviously but what you could do now is you can use the morph slider and you can just sort of morph between the two so say you wanted to make him 30% more human you would just slide the the slider down to yeah, 70 on the morph or if you wanted to make a human look a little bit alien you can do that, and this is all because we're using the same mesh with the same UVs and the same point order. So we just undo that. Um, and this would apply if you'd created other models, for example, this guy that Eric's made. Um, you know, if you'd made a few other models and you wanted to maybe bulk up your model and you've already created this sort of bulky, crazy looking guy, you could just export this mesh, um, big guy. And then you could do the same thing with this model and you could use it as a morph target. And you can either do like a sort of um, generic kind of blend and you know create a sort of a more bulky kind of alien. Or you could use a morph brush on, I always do this on a really low intensity like two or three something like that and then you could just start to actually morph areas of the face for example if you wanted to make his neck a bit more a bit more chunky and maybe his jaws or his jaw maybe lower those brows a little bit 
you know, so you can sort of selectively choose what areas you want to morph. Which is quite cool, and you can do this with any number of characters, so once you once if you're happy with that and you say maybe I want to make him a bit more a bit more human even, you could store another morph target and import your your human head. And then you could do some stuff with that, you know, give him Slightly more human nose, although that's moving it a little bit because it's um, that head was in a slightly different position. But yeah, you can just use those that sort of morphing pipeline to try and sort of create any number of different characters. But the really cool thing, which we showed at the beginning of the video, is once you get that model into some rendering software, I'm using Marmoset here, which I use for pretty much everything just because it's really quick and easy um, and I will do a tutorial on this as well I know a lot of people have asked like how to set up the render scenes and create the skin details um, but I will do that along with eyes as well which everyone asks about so what you can do now is you can actually use the texture sets from our head scans um, and they will just drop straight onto any model created using our base mesh we've actually got um, we actually just started selling um, texture maps themselves, which you can just drop any any one of these onto a character created with a scan store base mesh. And the actual base mesh itself is um, available for free in here. So you can just download that totally free. And you get three meshes. So you get a male, a female, and a super average mesh. So the way we actually made these is quite cool as well. So these are, the male is a combination of 50 male heads blended into one. The same with the female and the super, I should say, they're not heads, they're head scans. So this is this represents a totally average male. Um, same with the female and the super average is like a sort of combination of both. So if you're using these meshes, any of our scan store assets, texture wise, will work on those meshes. So if you were to sort of apply them, which I have done here in ZBrush, so we've got the normal map and the color albedo map. Um, I'm only using clear colors for the oh, for the roughness and spec at the moment um, and I'm actually defining the details with a just a sort of cavity map uh, which works quite well in mom is it. Um, this texture here is actually our free base mesh which you can download from here totally free well you have to give me your email address but I don't spam people so um, so yeah, this comes with um, you know color, spec, normal, gloss cavity, translucency maps, um, and all these are just dragged and dropped in here in Marmoset straight onto Eric's mesh, and yeah, you can do that with any of our head scans. So these are just texture sets from various um, head scans on our store. I like this guy; he's got cool, cool eye bag wrinkles. So yeah, so this is using the normal map for all the details, uh, the color map, and like I said, no spec map at the moment, just a, just a cavity map. So yeah, I mean, it's a very, very quick way to do things. It's a little bit cheaty. Uh, that's kind of how I like to do things because in a production environment, cheating is good, it's quick, uh, especially for concepting and, you know, a bit of look dev. So that's just one of the sort of the many ways you can use these assets uh, to really, really quickly create characters. So I hope this was useful. Um, and if you guys have any questions, uh, just let me know either on Facebook or in the YouTube comments or on Instagram. I'll put a link to the, um, the free head scan and the free base mesh in the comments on the YouTube video. Cool, okay, thank you.